okay in this example we're going to download an SSH tool so that we can use our uh, system to upload our files to and from the ECE server so that we can test them. So I'm going to visit sidelicense.arizona.edu and in here I'm going to be able to locate uh, a couple of software tools that are going to allow me to uh, oops. allow me to do some SSH and other kinds of activities on Windows. Windows. So here is uh, an SSH set. SSH is for um, logging in remotely in an access controlled way so that you're not sharing your password in clear text. So when SCP and PuTTY are both pretty good for this, I'm actually going to use PuTTY because this uses a terminal-like aspect. So the reason that it's important to have the terminal is so that I can uh, copy to and from the various files uh, using the, the IDE as well as access the command line directly from the server that I log into. And I really hope this is recording. <laughs> oh, nope, I was just clicking on it and trying to download it, but it wasn't allowing me to do it. So here we are, buddy. All right, to get the most updated version of this is download from the putty website. So because I have uh, Windows, I'm going to go ahead and download uh, the PuTTY installer for everything. So here we have uh, a Windows installer for everything except PuTTY Tel. And since we don't need Telnet, we're going to be able to download this one. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And thankfully, my operating system is going to make sure I don't download something that has some kind of malware. Yes, I want to run it. Let's go ahead and make sure that I have a desktop icon for PuTTY and install. And probably reading the README is a good idea for you, but I'm not going to do it in this uh, video. OK, so now I've downloaded PuTTY. I'm going to open it up. So here we have the ability to log in to some hosts. So I'm going to log in to ece3.ece.arizona.edu. And port 22 is the correct port that I want to log into. I'm going to log in using SSH, and I'm going to save these options. It's ECE3. So let's go ahead and open it. It tells me to make sure that I'm logging into the correct location. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I want to log in as my net ID. Okay, so here I am, and now I'm able to log into ECE3, which redirects to a system called compute.engr.arizona.edu. So the, the reason that PuTTY is such a nice tool for Windows users is that now I have the ability to run my uh, command line information uh, using a Windows machine. So it's not exactly like having the terminal on the Mac because I have to log into the remote machine. But now I do have access to these various different kinds of 